Okay, it's wash day. It's wash day, all right? So, I'm trying not to wet my floor. But if I'm pulling it, it is coming up, but. Okay, best friends, before we even start, this is a 23 minute video. So I hope y'all ready because <laughs> it's 23 minutes, okay? This hair is from Allie Grace. And when I tell you this is some bomb straight hair, it is some bomb straight hair. Like, <clears throat> it was giving me all that I needed to have and give and serve. Out. Girl, like, it was 180 density, a 13 by 4 lace frontal. Um, this is a stock wig and it was pre-plucked but not to my liking so I did go in and pluck it so to start this off I am going to bleach my knots I am using 40 volume developer because that's the only thing that I have in-house as of right now well at then when I did this video um, um, I will suggest you use 40 volume um, I am going to take one scoop of bleach to one scoop basically of developer and mix it all together and you're gonna have the perfect consistency okay when you have that perfect consistency friend put that thing on that them on that lace and bleach them not so I had the AC on in my house because it's been it's been crazy hot in LA and I have not been liking it at all so my house was cold and in order to process this I ended up putting foil on the in on the inside of the lace where the bleach was just to help it stay warm and process a little faster because it was cold so well, I, I always tell you guys you need to watch your knots or your bleach because heat and your temperature of your house matters all right so if your house is hotter your um, knots are going to bleach faster if you're not if your house is cooler it's going to bleach slower so you definitely want to you know take in consideration when you're doing that don't ever go off anybody else's of how long they leave the bleach on because your temperature of your home is different than somebody else's okay but to you know ease some people minds i left this on for 20 minutes because i know i'm going to get asked that in the comment section okay so i left it on for 20 minutes i did rinse it out shampoo it um i did use purple shampoo vanilla no yellow that's my fave and um i did um deep condition this with silicone mix this is silicone mix is only a regular conditioner is it i mean well it's not a regular conditioner it's a bomb conditioner especially for your extensions um but you treat it as such like a conditioner and you'll be fine hi best friends welcome back to my channel so today we have a new install and i have a new glue so this is uh what is this called blue new blue moon beauty um and it's their crazy hole super glue lace glue for lace front wigs okay it's 100 percent waterproof so they say invisible extended wear bonding use only professional use only fast and easy new stronger formula no mess you get your glue and you get your application tools if you are interested take a screenshot of this so you can keep it in your phone so you can find it you can locate this on um amazon and you can get it from your local beauty supply all right so i will have a link to the amazon um, portion down below for you guys all right so i have a psa before we even start so my last waterproof glue video did some numbers and i had some trolls on that video i have a lot of hair here's a picture of it right here boom let's get that out the way i am not bald and i do have my edges okay i've been wearing wigs for years probably like five all right constantly um i did a big chop this is where my hair is at now. I am at waist length. I have hair. I don't want to hear nobody in the comments saying something totally different, all right? Any glue, and I'm saying lace glue, not Gorilla Glue, not any other glue, but specifically lace glue, okay? It's specifically for hair replacements. Although, like I said, I have a lot of hair and all of my edges. Some people suffer from cancer and other autoimmune issues that will make them lose their hair. There are safe products such as this, such as this, that will help those people, you know, feel normal. Um, it's not that deep. So stop being weird. If this product is not for you, then it's not for you, okay? I want I want to say this before because I had a lot of trolls on my last video. 
if there there's different people and different people use hair replacements for different reasons for me i use it for pleasure because i want to because it's a hair a protective style for me that's it all right let's get into this install okay so first we're gonna put install it like we do any other wig on this channel okay we're gonna do our ball cap we already have that done and we're gonna put our makeup so i like to use ruby kisses i'm in the shade i believe 15 or 16 and one of the darkest shade basically from the ruby kisses concealer and foundation duo pack and i'm just gonna buff that around my hairline and i'm gonna clean my hairline and my skin off from the makeup with a uh, sea breeze okay you can use sea breeze you can out use alcohol i don't recommend alcohol but i know people are going to use it anyway all right so these are the utensils that came in the lace i mean the lace the glue and you have one that's a brush and you have one that's kind of like a popsicle stick but shaped nicely okay and this is my wig from ally grace now this lace <coughs> this lace is bomb as you can see i over plugs in certain areas don't be like me. I was over there talking to one of my best, my, well, not one of my, my best friends. And we was having a good conversation and I just overplugged, but it, it was okay. Anyway, the lace is soft and it blend in my skin really good once I tinted the lace to my skin color. Bomb, okay? So bomb. So, um, I just was trying on the wig. Just make sure that it fits well. I'm going to take the glue. I'm going to puncture the hole in there so the glue could come out the tube. This smells exactly like Bold Hold Max. This is an acrylic glue, and all acrylic glues claim to be waterproof, okay? So, um, clear glues, you guys know the difference between white and clear glue. White glues are water-based glues, which means if water touches it, it will come off, all right? So if you see anybody saying like, oh, my uh, glue is uh, waterproof and it's white, it ain't working it's not gonna be waterproof i guarantee you your wig gonna slide off now if your glue is clear like an acrylic glue then it, ha it has a better chance to withstanding water because it is not water based okay so i'm just gonna take a thin line put it on my hairline smooth it out at first i use <clears throat> it straight out the tube and then i ended up turning it around and using it and putting some on the popsicle stick and then smearing it that way now, you are going to have those little stringy things that come off at the end after you finish smoothing it or taking it out of the tube. That's just something that happens with acrylic glue. It can, it can get messy, but I particularly like this um, applicator bottle because it's small and the tube that it comes out from is very narrow. It's so skinny. It's so small that it comes out so thinly and it's easy for you to just smear it instead of it coming out a lot and so i really appreciated that when it came to this application So this is my thin layer. Uh, you want to make sure you do thin layers because if it's too thick, it will seep in through your lace, and that's what you don't want because that will mess up your your install. Okay, and for extra protection, I like to go in with my boho liquid gold, and I put that behind the glue on my actual stocking cap just to hold the rest of the lace down because I find for me, I don't know about y'all, my lace shifts after a while and I don't like that. Once it shifts back, you start, you're like your front of your hairline starts getting cakey and dirty looking and the glue starts getting exposed. I don't like that. So I use the Boho Liquid Gold to keep it in place because it dries down kind of like got to be, um, but not as, like uh tight as got to be so i'm um, just 
right here i'm just um adjusting my wig make sure make sure it's in the, the place that i need it to be and i'm just gonna go ahead and cut off the lace So to shape my baby hairs, I like to use spritz in a baby hair brush. Spritz is my go-to because um, I try to do the thing with the mousse and my lace always lift. Um, I can't use uh, the free spray. It's got to be free spray because it's too sticky. And sometimes when you make a mistake, it's hard to correct it because your hairline is so sticky from that. Um, so I like spritz because it has a good hold it, it, it's it, the formula is lightweight, but it has a good hold So it's not going to give you that stickiness like uh, the free spray. So I take my uh, makeup brush and I dab it in my makeup a uh, lightly in the Ruby kisses and I go over it with my buffer brush Okay, and that girl like you, you see that you see that blendage like it looks good it looks like my skin and i was a, like it looked good for about five days when i was <laughs> wearing this by day six like the makeup was wearing off um and i had lifted i'm, I'm telling y'all the video early i'm let me be quiet but i'm just gonna uh you know make my hairline look nice So to melt it even more, I'm going to take my free spray and I'm going to lightly spray this around my hairline just to help it blend in better. And then from that point, I'm going to take my elastic band, let it sit on my hairline and let it melt. Okay, you guys, so my wig is on. It took me about 10 minutes to use this. This is just as messy as um, the boho glue that I tried. This is an acrylic based glue, so it's gonna give you the same vibe, all right? So okay, I'm gonna do my makeup real quick and I'm gonna be back and then we're gonna do final touches to the hair and then we'll go from there. Okay, you guys, so I'm back and this is what my hairline is looking like. It looks real good if you ask me. <laughs> okay, so basically we're just gonna do final touches and so I'm going to just, you know, make sure the top is super flat, my hair is flat ironed. The front of my hairline is laid. You feel me? That kind of stuff. So let's do it. 
So I'm just gonna go ahead and brush uh, my hair out just to make sure that there's no tangles in here because I am gonna go in and run the flat iron through through my hair just to make sure it's straight. So um, I'm gonna start off with the top of my hair. I'm gonna spray some spritz on there and I'm gonna take my hot comb. Y'all know how I feel about my hot comb, my actual stove comb, not a plug-in. Y'all know I love it. I love it so much. I like I learned how to use a hot comb at a young age and I will never stop and I will never convert to a, a plug-in. You will not ever get me to do that. <laughs> so, but yeah, I love it. How many of y'all still use hot combs? Let me know down below in the comment section. Let me know. Put the smoke emoji down there and let me know how many of y'all still use the hot combs or prefer to use the hot combs. But anyway, so I'm just making sure that the top of my hair is super flat because I don't like when... The top of people wigs or even my wigs be fluffy and like have volume like the only time I like volume is if my hair is curled but yeah so after I, that is done I'm gonna take some freeze spray spray it on my hands rub it together and just slick the top of everything now so all the flyaways can stay down looks really good actually um I did plug some holes into this so you definitely have to be careful with this lace because it is soft and I do want to fill this in, so let me go ahead and do that. I'm gonna just take any black eyeshadow. Black. I'm gonna take some black eyeshadow. So I'm gonna give me a little fluffy brush. I don't want it too harsh. I'm gonna just fill this in a little bit because, like I said, I went overboard. And like that is perfect. That is perfect. Oh my god. I'm going to wear it for a couple of days and I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you what my lace is looking like. If it has not lifted, then we're going to jump in the shower and we're going to do a water test to see if it's really waterproof. I do not sweat. Okay, I am not a sweater, especially not on my face. So, um I do I cannot tell you if this is sweat proof. I cannot. So you would just have to try this yourself to see if it's sweat proof or try to find other videos to see if it's sweat proof, proof because I am not the one to tell you. Okay you guys, so listen, I just came to check in, all right? I've had this on for three days and I just wanted to show you my lace because I'm about to go to a pool party. Excuse that, that's my dog. Um, and I'm about to go to a pool party. I'm not gonna submerge my lace because I, I wanna stay looking like this, you feel me? So I just wanna show you what she's looking like. I am not lifting whatsoever. Um, and it still looks pretty good. Like I, I did my little baby hairs, you know, the baby hairs getting old, you feel me? But other than that, she looks really good. I really actually like this. <clears throat> I, I'm a, I like this, like the application of this. Like it's small, it's easy to apply. Like, it's not too big to where it's getting messy all over the place. I actually really like the little tiny skinny nozzle. So, all right. So, um, I'll be back in like two more days. And then we'll probably try to take her off. But she look good. I look good. What's up? Hey. Okay, it's wash day. It's wash day, all right? So, we about to see if this is waterproof. I'm in my bathroom, so the lighting is not as good as it's supposed to be but we're gonna make it do what it do so I am lifting a little bit as you can see and I am lifting on my sideburns I made it to six days with this and I'm ready to take it off it is hot in LA this is the hair she is bomb I'm going to reinstall her yes cuz I'm here for this hair okay but anyway I'm gonna use suave to shampoo the hairline we're gonna use some suave, use any shampoo you want. And if it does not come off, then I'm going to go ahead and use a C22 solvent to take it off, all right? So, let's get in there. So, I'm trying not to wet my floor. Okay, it's pretty wet, so I'm gonna go ahead and incorporate the shampoo on the hairline. This is what we looking like. Still the part that was lifting was the edge. 
in my cyber. Let's see. Let's shampoo it one more time. Okay, you guys, so this is my hairline. Still, I still only have my ear tabs up. <clears throat> but if I'm pulling it, it is coming up. But I do not suggest you pull your lace fronts off, okay? Otherwise, it's still holding down. It is still holding. But if you actually pulling it, and I'm pulling it with some force, it will come up, okay? But this is what my hairline looks like. I am going to dry off and then I'm going go downstairs in my studio and we're going to finish this video. Okay? So this wig is actually coming up on its own, but to help this side speed up the process, I am going to use C22 Solvent. Order this off of Amazon. This is by Walker's Tape and they say it's gentle on the skin. I have not had any reactions to this. It's very oily, so... Yeah, I'm going to spray this on there and to get the remainder of the residuals off my skin as well. So anyway, while it's sitting on my skin so I can get the rest of the glue off, I'm gonna just finish this video out. No, unfortunately, this is not waterproof, and I had high hopes for this actually. Um, but I am, I do like the actual blue and the actual hold. Unfortunately, it does not live up to the claim of being waterproof. So, if you sweat, if you go swimming, this is not the glue for you. But if you want a bomb install, girl, she had me lit. <laughs> She had me lit. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or concerns, leave them down below in the comment section. I do have another waterproof glue from an Instagram influencer, and I cannot wait to try it for you guys. So, until next time, bye best friends. Play it on the beat, on the beat.